Hello. How's it going, everyone? You guys want to help me style my hair? I just got out of the shower. Let's see. Let's see what the clean part looks like. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. Side part. How's everyone, uh, how's everyone feeling today? I just got freshly out of the shower and I'm ready to get to work. Feeling funky, nice. You grab it single? Hell yeah. I'll have to check it out. I have not listened to it yet. Don't mind me just getting my socks on. You're seeing underscores live today. I do not know who underscores is. Ooh, let me turn off the speakers. All right. Hurry the hell up. One sec. Okay. Let me just check and make sure you guys are hearing that. Yes, you should be hearing it at least. He is an up and coming producer. Underscores, cool. I'll have to check him out. Would you guys hate me if I uh, ran through some scales quickly? All right, sweet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my fingers are definitely not warmed up, so it's the beginning of the stream. There aren't too many people tuned in anyway, so hopefully I can get away with it. Thank you. 
Cool, at least we got the major real quick. All right. So for today, I have a little bit of an agenda in place. Um, and by a little bit, I mean barely an agenda. Uh, essentially, I kind of want to start working on wrapping up uh, my next EP. Um, so that means looking at tracks that actually could be candidates um, for it to start taking seriously uh, in terms of finishing. So <clears throat> the last EP um, for the uh, Panorama project was chapter two, which, uh, oh, whoops, I have to replace that link. Um, but it was a uh, Panorama form. And so... Um, uh, this EP had like, I guess the majority of it was pretty funk oriented. Um, and that was definitely like a very intentional direction. Um, and um, the, uh, so the last track with you is supposed to kind of foreshadow um, like some darker material for the next EP. Um, Billy672, thank you for the sub. Um, Hold up. Let me uh let me see something. Um Why did I not hear that? I feel like I should have heard that notification, but I didn't. Strange. Um Also that coffee count is correct. Um on a quick side note, guys, I'm not sure if this is something that um, you saw me mentioning in the Discord at all. I'm not sure if you guys tuned into that at all, but I do have an official remix competition that's going to be announced pretty soon. Um, it's going to be for one of the tracks off of the Panorama for me piece. So if you want to snag the stems and have a go at it, um, uh, you know, I'd be pretty excited to hear what you guys can come up with. Um, but yeah, just throwing it out there. I think it's going to be exciting to see what, um, what, what, what takes people have on, on my ideas. I've never really had a remix competition before. Never really considered myself an artist that's notable enough to do something like that. But um, I don't know. I think um, it's possible that there will be enough um, like high quality submissions at this point to to give it a go. Um, but yeah, just throwing it out there. It's gonna be happening pretty pretty soon. The stems are not available currently, but um, they shall be in the near future. Um. Anyways. So I missed another sub. It's so strange, I'm not getting these notification sounds. Maybe it's because uh, it's through Twitch Prime, I'm not sure. Normally I hear like some kind of sub sound, but... Um, but yeah, Vili672, I already mentioned you, thank you for the sub, but also Super Speed, thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. Um, Alright, let's see. Yo, I'm three subs away from 100 subscribers. I feel like I should do something special when I get to 100. Um. Yeah, so let's let's look at some of these tracks. These are pretty damn old by now, to be honest. Um, so I'm not really sure how excited I'll be <laughs> uh, by these ideas. But. It's pretty cool. Um, 
Um, yeah, it's all, it's all right. I'm not like too crazy about it. Let's see what this one. Oh yeah, sacrifice. I want to just like jam on them a little bit to get um idea of uh I don't know what there's left to do which there is a lot of oh yeah layman's love god this track has been in gathering dust all these have just been gathering dust it's crazy because like uh yeah I was writing all this like heavy uh er dark er stuff and i very intentionally uh, left it off for um the third and fourth chapters to um but uh yeah let's see why didn't it start at the beginning It's gonna need some some work. I don't know. There's something. I definitely think that it's possible that sacrifice and layman's love will kind of be combined. I think that this intro. I mean, first of all, they're in the same key. Second of all, they're in similar tempos. So, I mean, you can easily imagine that vocal, which uh, I'm I'm hoping that you know I can I can retrack it uh, with raw vocals, but. I may have to rely on someone else to do that, not myself, because my vocals are pretty far from <laughs> being.
being listenable. Uh, yeah, I did have that on stream, uh, or I did work on this on, on stream uh, like two years ago or something. So it's going to be fun to try to finish this up. Um, but yeah, so I think like if you can kind of imagine uh, the vocal. Really not that far off, like in um, writing style and tempo and all of that. Like the mood is very similar. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, but I think that could be cool. We got a uh, this one. The literally the 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 only thing that I think I like about this track right now, Clearing Storm, is that um, it has like a lot of potential from a performance perspective. Like I think it could be really fun. I did this. Thing on stream where I was trying to play this arpeggio with two keyboards uh, to make it easier to strum notes faster. Uh, but yeah, you're, I'll, I'll play this section. So yeah, kind of like, um, I don't know, like these Reese's kind of pulling in a lot of the gaps. Um, more or less just uh, that arpeggio, some heavy drums, and a bunch of bass sounds. That's what that is right now. Um, but yeah, I guess part of the reason I named it Clearing Storm is because after this really kind of like heavy section, it then transitions into... Uh, this like little piano riff and it just to me it felt like this uh kind of really intense thunderstorm giving way to like, a clear sky and uh, clearing storm <laughs> kind of like the uh the part that kind of contrasts with the heavy section Let's see what else is there there's this random idea i think with with a lot of uh a lot of work this might be one worth including as well Crazy. This is like, you know, this is like three years old at this point. So it's weird to kind of like pick this up. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know. It's pretty messy, and I think if I were to try to make this into an actual track, I'd change some stuff that's happening, like, stylistically. But, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, this is a really old one, too. Yeah, that one's pretty cool too. Oh, this is a sketch I made on an on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell. I, or I, I mean, at least I can tell how my production sounds uh, different when I'm sketching on an airplane versus uh, versus in the studio. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That one felt kind of. Maybe this one's a little bit too much on the uh, like emotional, you like euphoric kind of uh, side to consider including. Because I definitely want to make sure that this EP is like dark in in contrast to the first two. Um, just that it fits the theme, but, uh, but yeah, let me see. So what should I work on for now? Cause I do, I do want to make sure that I spend some time, like, uh, at least on, on one track in particular. Oh yeah, that's right. I think I, some of these project files I also don't have anymore. Like I think this teen angst idea and that mid-tempo track, I think I'll have to remake from scratch, uh, which is not the end of the world. Um, which one do you guys think I should try to work on? You created this on an airplane? Yes, I did. I sure did. Um, I'm not opposed to doing the mid-tempo one. First of all, I'm kind of curious to find out if uh, I can trace back uh, some of the bass sound design I was doing. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I still have those uh, chugs. I don't even remember how that sound design, <laughs> how that was made. It was definitely like a one of those happy accident things where I was throwing stuff into effect chains and... Hold on. No, what is this one? Oh yeah, this might be it actually. It sounds very similar. Yeah, that sounds like it. <laughs> what? 
What the hell is this? I think there's something crazy happening in Vocodex. There it is. That's the note. <laughs> Has, has some pretty cool just like sonic qualities like there's some crazy harmonics happening there um so at least we have that let me see if i search uh bit tempo what, com what comes up bit tempo shit wait maybe i had already started remaking it let's let's see This might be um might be a variation. <laughs> it sounds like an older version or something. <laughs> what is this vocal? <laughs> I think I, I think that's something I made with Isotope or something. Uh, Isotope Nectar. <laughs> that sounds so goofy. Um, well, clearly, uh, I think the sound design uh, from this group is what I'll want to be using. I don't think that these were the the as fleshed out as this. Not that that one is anything close to final either. Okay, so I'm going to set this project file up real quick with um all the necessary tools. We're going to set up like the sidechain routing and all that. Um let me save this as well into the Sketch journal folder. Just because that's where all my ideas are going these days. Uh, 621, 2019, mid tempo. Um, not that that's accurate, but I have no idea when I started this idea. So, um, I'm going to snag the compressor from my template real quick and then throw it in there. Boom. Uh, go. Um, is if you were done, uh, that track is definitely not done. Um, yeah, do you guys, uh, do you guys want to do a feedback session today? I can um, put the last half hour aside um, to listen to track submissions. If you guys have works and progresses or anything like that, I'll take some time to, to listen to them. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's do it, dudes. Um, so I'd like to get um, some headway done uh, on a project file at least. So, um, I would say in an hour, so the last half hour of the stream will be uh, for for feedback. So I guess one thirty to two CST. I'm not sure what time it is for you guys, but yeah, an hour from now. Um, okay, so we have this drum rack. The sounds we got in here, and this bad boy. Get rid of all the stuff in the master. Put the limiter on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, really, really just like three or four sounds to work with here. Uh, so let's get rid of this. 
I also am going to mute the vocal for now. I don't think it's the best. We're going to keep that. So that sounds like the intro. Um. Yeah, so that record that real quick. Um, curious to see what the sound sounds like without Vocodex. Oh, interesting. So Vocodex is actually just doing a, um, a bit of a textural thing. So that weird harmonic stuff is coming from this, this serum patch that I guess I made. There's the LFO on the cutoff. It must be the downsampling. It is. Huh. Interesting. Now, wait, wait, I ruined the patch. There it is. So there's this weird kind of thing in the low end that's lingering that I really don't like. And there's other stuff in this patch that's bothering me. Okay, that EQ is definitely helping. We'll keep that. What about... There's some really weird stuff in the low end that we're going to get rid of. Maybe I should just EQ it out because that OTT is only at 50%. So let's do this. Yeah, we can keep the Pro and B. Okay, cool. And we'll add uh, our a separate like layer for the low end after. Holy crap! It's been so long since I've looked at Vocodex. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Pretty cool. Maybe I should make some uh, macro effects. So that, like, it says your point two nine is kind of where that's at. So maybe we'll have a macro that goes below point two nine, and at its max, it'll be at point two nine. Point two nine. Like this. It's pretty cool. So let's see. Maybe art one for articulation one. What is this stuff? Like, keep in mind, this is a patch I made like three years ago, so I don't really know what I'm looking at right now. Oh, I see. So this is uh, 
This will just transition between the chug and the sustain. <laughs> That's so funny. The sustained note. <laughs> uh, I feel like that could be cleaned up a little bit. It's like dun 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 dun. Should be more like dun 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 dun. So the. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, OTT isn't helping, I don't think. Because it you can hear the high end like lingering after like this weird stuff happening. Yeah, let's get rid of this for now. We have the second one as well, but I think uh, compressor isn't helping either. Let's see what it sounds like without. Eh, I don't know. Not the end of the world. I wonder if I could have the uh, LFO on uh, the wet of this distortion. I think that's a little bit better. But yeah, there's definitely some kind of like weird uh, lingering like release. The release is all the way down the vocal deck, so I wonder where that's coming from. Yeah, the patch itself is pretty, pretty clean. Hmm. You can definitely hear it like sticking around way longer than you want it to. Mm. Although it is it is a bit shorter now than before, I think. I think what might be worth doing, this actually could crash the project file. I feel like I've had issues with this before. Uh, I want to make a copy of this. I want to duplicate it and then just have one patch for the F and then another patch for the, uh, for the A. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure if I duplicate this, I'm gonna... oh, nice. It's actually part of the reason why I stopped using Vocodex is because I was having issues with it crashing Ableton because uh, I don't know where the compatibility issue came from. If it was like an IL side, like image line, like trying to, or not being able to make a plugin stable in a different DAW, but worked this time. So I'm not going to complain. So let's see, we'll have this one be sustained and this one will be open. What the Let's speed it up a little bit, maybe like. I also think that for this section of the song, we kind of want like a an aggressive clap or something, but. Hmm. I wonder if I can find something in my drum racks, maybe. Uh, like I, I want a clap that still has like a, a transient. Whoops. Um.
and try something like this. I think that could work. Um, okay, now let's fix the articulation in the downbeats. There we go. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. All right. So then we can get rid of these two patches and. Um and then there is a uh... <laughs> Okay. What about what is this one? I think we can find something that sounds better fairly quickly for that little bass riff. Um I think this one might be a little bit better. Hold on. There we go. Um, there's also no sidechain yet. Um, so I should probably set that up. Let's see, is the dummy dummy channel set up? Let's hit the side chain up real quick before we keep going. Drum rack. Dummy. Copy paste that into here. Okay. Comp one. Comp two. I actually think that I may, instead of just the sustained download, I think I do want to hear that, the swung rhythm. I think it's kind of articulating that sound differently. Um, I may need a, well, regardless, I have to work on that sound, but, okay, so let's take this sound, make that. Make this tripleted. I suppose it might be easier to just do this with a filter. Oh shit, sorry, I've been like missing all these subs. Um 
Impasta sauce. Thank you for the uh, tier one sub. I don't know why I'm not getting notifications for that. I feel like I should be. Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you for the sub. And I am Daxi1. Thank you for the uh, sub. Yo, we're at 99 subs. What up? Um, you guys bored yet? <laughs> I really hate doing sound design on stream because it feels like so much more tedious. Uh, I also don't really know if this is the direction I'm going to go with the track. I just wanted to flesh out the remake of por portions of that idea at least so I can um, see where to take it. So, so the downbeat is obviously going to be that. Okay, so then going to route these all into that first side uh, or compressor or side chain. Yeah, what is going on with this? There's got to be a way we can make this better. Yeah, that's one of the harmonics that makes it pretty cool. No. Ooh, there's like a little major triad in there. That's cool. Oh god, I was such a noob. Can't believe I wasn't using keyscapes back then. Yeah, throwing keyscapes in here. I always forget which preset I like the best. I think Studio is pretty good. Uh... Um, I think okay, let's just uh, go back to the beginning. <laughs> I feel like that bass repeat should come in right there. Um, maybe I do want the sound design I had in there originally. I'm also starting to realize that the writing of this may end up being too funky for the uh for that EP. I do, I do think that, uh, you know, whether it's piano or whether like exactly what sounds are playing those melodies, that's kind of what I'm hearing being jammed 
uh, being written on top of this. There's always so much to do when you're starting to sketch out an idea. It's insane. Um, my my brain is just like firing all these different things at me, telling me to change this and do that. And uh, yeah, it's easy to forget about all the different changes you want to make. Let's use that for now. I think I might have a slightly better there one in here maybe hmm yeah no no crashes there this one's a little too soft but we'll find something else Okay, I'm also going to make a few groups in here quickly. So this is this will be the main group for the drum rack, and this will be uh, symbols. That way, I know that these can end up being routed uh, into um, a return channel. Pretty cool. I didn't even realize that you could do this until recently, but um, the comp three. I'll just make one right now. Um, but yeah, obviously side chaining for symbols. I, I usually prefer to have it be pretty subtle. Obviously depends on the style and the mix and all that, but um, so let's see, ins and outs, returns. Uh, so this will be for comp three. I'll put it into comp three. And now I think the symbols are being run. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I have to select them in here still. I don't know exactly how, uh, why it works this way. Um, like you have to, I guess you create like a, an audio effect, um, chain or something. You route them into that, in the drum rack, and then that gets routed into the return, which is a little strange, but. Yeah, so now they're in this, being sent into this return channel, which is nice because Uh, then we can have all of our side chain in these little returns here. To the chin, look ahead. Yeah, there we go. Now that little piece of that little transient isn't popping through when the look ahead look ahead's on. Yeah. Um let's see. We want I think I was hearing like some kind of bass slide. Like 
going uh leading back into the downbeat wow. <laughs> Um, I don't know what kind of a slide would be good. <laughs> Sounds pretty miserable right now. There we go. A little bit better. Ooh, I could try to I could try to move that um so you guys can see the chains better. I guess that maybe there's less important information in the top left. Um let's see. I think I duplicate this scene. Okay. Okay, that seems to be working still. Um move this up here. Uh <laughs> What do you guys think? Is that better or worse? I can also, I can also put it, let's see. Really? You guys think that's better? What about this? Now, now you just have to, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. What about now? How about that? Yo, this is actually so much fun. I can just like slide my face around like this. <laughs> Yo, Haywire, how's that track going? Oh, hello there. It's going pretty well. Thank you for asking. Uh, okay. Put this. I think maybe this could be slightly smaller. Who really wants to see my face anyway? Right? Um, maybe like this, maybe? How about that? I think that looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on the stream. <laughs> uh, slightly bigger? Okay. Maybe this much? Okay. Like that? Let's do that. Yeah, who cares about the uh, top left menu? Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, we want that to be more low passed actually. Maybe we'll add a little bit of uh like noise on top by distorting it or something, but uh we'll see. There's some empty space there, really? Looks like it's like pretty much flush to the to the left. Now, um anyways. Uh, see. 
That sounds interesting. That, uh, square. Make a copy of that real quick. And mess around with it a little bit. Um, damn, I wish I could like copy the shape of an LFO and or, or extend this same shape um to be t twice as long or oh god that's such a bad way of explaining it like I, I essentially want this shape twice and to alter uh just the the last little piece of the second instance of it which kind of sucks because i think the only way to do that is to reduce this to one fourth and then try to draw the shape this. Um, I don't really know what's going on with this idea. I definitely think it sounds cooler when there's unison. Um, let's see. Um, I'll keep messing with that in a second here. Go back to the intro again. Um, I think it might be cooler if the chord is like the, like a B flat major over C leading into the drop versus, uh, versus like an E flat major. I think like, like that sounds cool, but I feel like this sounds more interesting. Um, so we'll change this to C. I think a C is better. Um, 
Maybe the last note will change to uh, the E flat. I think I like that. Let's see. I'm just uh, sketching out chords, by the way, guys. I don't, I don't know what sound or in what um, capacity like those chords are gonna like exist or if they're gonna exist at all. I just, you know, just jam it out a little bit. Whoa, <laughs> this sound is just so unpredictable. All these weird phasing issues happening with it. Uh, I'll fix it at some point, but it's. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's sketch out, like, harmonically what might happen in this track. Hold on, I didn't uh, fix the notes for this iteration, so... pretty cool i think i like like the that's i think that's the gist of the chord patterns that would be there if there were chords <laughs> i don't know for sure if there are going to be chords but but basically that's that's what's gonna that's like more or less the uh harmonic outline So I feel like it could be cool if there's like a little bit of a, a melody that popped in during the second half of an in, of the intro. sound might be appropriate for that 
Ooh. Maybe, just maybe, it's time to bust out the crying roads. Wait. So weird how these ALC files behave. I don't understand it. So now it loads it, okay. Mm. Not sure actually, like it's definitely a good sound for this style, but I don't know if it's gonna be best for that melody. Um, try this one maybe. This piano would sound cool if it was Rhodes instead. I'm kind of curious. Hmm, kind of like the piano better, I think. But I'll I'll cycle through some other stuff. Um, okay, so this sound definitely needs to be played on the nectar. So, we're gonna raise this bad boy. You guys know what time it is. You know what time it is. Give me a sec here. Let's check if this angle works. I mean, hey, like that little bit, bit of a. Boom. All right. This. All right. There we go. <laughs> no, that that is the desk. You guys uh you guys don't understand that's what the actual desk sounds like. <laughs> um all right, let's jam out on this. Although I do like the piano, it occupies so much space in the mix. Might try to low pass it a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cool that it has that articulation, uh, but I wish the articulation changed. But I wish it wasn't on the uh, the pitch wheel. It's kind of weird. I don't know if you can tell, but like it's changing, uh, changing the the sound a bunch. Kind of wish it just had a straight up pitch bend there. I wonder if the other patch is like that too. Okay, that's enough of that. It's fun, but it's not really gonna, I think, fit uh, fit the vibe. We can keep exploring uh, Omnisphere briefly, see if there's anything else in here, like any patches that might work. Not that one. I mean, alternatively, I can just look through my patches as well. Also, don't know why. Huh. My keyboard just stopped sending MIDI? That's weird. Yeah, I think my Nord actually just gave in. Might just be a simple unplug and replug. Let me check. That'd be a pretty sad rip. Although I think it has less to do with my Nord, it might be like the cable that I'm using. Mm. <laughs> well, that's always fun. I feel like uh, I feel like it has to do with. Uh, the Vocodex, to be honest. I haven't had an Ableton session crash on me in so long. It's kind of strange that it happened when I when I unplugged uh, uh, the Nord. It's quite strange. We'll see what we can uh, get back. Yo, um, Tigger Me Biscuits, thank you, for, uh, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. What's the difference between the keyboards? So the Nord is a full 88... Uh, fully weighted um, keyboard. So it lends itself much better to playing, well, piano, um, and some other sounds as well. Uh, but 
definitely mostly piano. The, the nectar, on the other hand, um, is much more useful for playing like synths and leads and that kind of stuff because you can do slides much much more easily because um, it's semi-weighted, so the, the keys aren't nearly as heavy. Um, the weighting is very different, and that just makes it easier to do those kind of like slides and pitch bends and um, yeah. So I wonder what is still going to be in here. One sec. I have a feeling that the patches are going to be kind of screwed up. So Keyscapes is just a sine wave now. Thankfully, we didn't spend too much time on this. Holy crap, wait, it's almost 1.30? What? What's going on? Um, all right, I am quickly gonna save this and call it quits for now on this idea because uh, this is, um, I think, gonna end up being a little too funky to have on the EP. So I'm gonna save this. Um, and I'm gonna briefly go back to the playlist and open up something else briefly, and then we'll do uh, feedback. See if we can find Sacrifice. I think it's going to be possible for me to take the stuff from that and insert it into Layman's Love. Uh, so, Project Files. I don't know if I actually named the Project File Sacrifice. I did. Okay, that's good. Most recently opened P6 2018. Uh, okay, so these are probably almost identical. I'll save. I'll save this. Is there a story for that wallpaper? Is it the Mad Men wallpaper? Um, I just remember finishing the uh, uh, the show, and I liked it quite a bit. So I don't know. I just kind of wanted to. Make it my background. Oh, it looks cool. Um, there's also, um, I'm not gonna pull it up right now. I don't think I'm locked into Steam, but there's this really cool app on Steam that has uh, moving wallpapers. That's what I usually have, but I'm, I don't know. Definitely a Mad Men fan, so. By the way, I had this idea to start creating uh, these multi-patches. Um, I just had to think of this because I think this song will be a good candidate for this, but um, I'm just going to quickly paste this in here. Let's see if it works. Um, basically, I thought it'd be fun to start creating... Uh, Patches that uh, have like multiple sounds in them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely start making more of those. I think that could be a cool way to um, generate ideas when sketching out tracks and stuff. Um, anyways, so so for this tune, oh wait, sorry, I just realized that you guys can't hear that. <laughs> this is this is what I was playing. Um, so just like, you know, one of the patches is that bass sound from, uh, that I've been working on this, this week.
Um, anyways. I just want to make more multi-patches like that. I just created a folder called multi. I don't really know what else. I guess... Any multi will always be polyphonic, so maybe I'll... I... Yeah, maybe I'll put that in the polyphonic folder, but we'll see. So the Nord works fine, by the way. So that was definitely just the project crashing. It's a nice synth. Did a good job engineering this one. lead is pretty cool too um but this is actually a multi-patch right here um so there's like uh, i forget exactly how it goes but there's the melody in the right hand um and those plucks in the left um yeah is pretty annoying in this right now. I'll save this real quick as a multi-patch. Call it multi-002. Oh. Or O2 maybe. Yeah. Okay, throw that in here. Um, I feel like maybe that's kind of uh, I hope that's not like painfully peaking for the stream. I don't like that sound. Um, I just realized I am extremely hungry, and it's because I have not eaten yet today. I should probably do that at some point as well. Um, so let me just snag this real quick. Um, and I'm gonna throw a few different tracks together, copy paste them, put them into the layman's love project. And then I'll do some feedback for the last bit of the stream. Um, see, where is it? There it is. Not save changes. Um, cool. Uh, are you guys uh you guys down to do some uh feedback? Actually, let me just check. Um, how many people? If you don't mind telling me in the chat, like how many of you guys have uh, something you might want to? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys couldn't hear that. 
the mic was armed in the Ableton project file. So I just uh blasted my voice into my ears. Um okay, let's see. So yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 Okay, it looks like there's at least like five or six or so. Um been sitting on mine since the last feedback session. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's do that. Um gonna paste these things into this project. Call it layman's love to sketching. Sketching and let's do it. Um so I think I have to pull up Twitch on here, right? Twitch Awire. Um how do I do this? I'm not logged in here. Damn it. Um I think to avoid you guys seeing <laughs> my login information, I have to go to the live soon screen briefly. One sec. Okay, so, um, we are back. Um, okay, so how does this work again? Hmm. Activity. Uh, cause I feel like create a raffle, right? Streaming tools? No. I swear it was like in the dashboard somehow that you could do it. Hold on. I think this, this just... Yeah, it lets you move it. Mm. Stream summary. Whip settings, rolls. Is it a night? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's a Nightbot thing, not a Twitch thing. You may very well be correct. Oh yeah, it totally is a nightbot thing. It has nothing to do with Twitch. Nightbot. Giveaways? Okay, sweet. So, let's see. What should the keyword be? Keyword, what do you guys want the keyword to be? Oh yeah? Like? Let's make it like. Uh, yeah, it kind of has to be, uh, kind of has to be nose flute though, doesn't it? Let's do nose flute. All right, nose lick. 
All right, so type in exclamation mark uh, nose flute, I guess. Um, I guess I'll give subscribers more luck. Start giveaway. Oh wait, there are no eligible users. I have to let you guys submit first and then I have to roll it. Oh, it warms my heart to see so many nose flutes in chat. I am inspired. Hell yeah. All right. Well, we got we got like 10-ish people or so. Uh, let's do it. Roll. What banana nana 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 nana. What up? Um you got a link for me? Whoop whoop banana nana. Nice, I got it. Um <clears throat> my guess is that 30% of uh today's feedback tracks will be uh memes. That's my estimate. Okay. Doesn't sound like meme music yet. This is uh, Bruno Poynton, Fish Finger Funk. I like those little fills there. Cool. That's a fun track. Really uh, interesting, uh, like, choice of, uh, like, a. Uh, alterations in some of the chords like there's the sharp uh i hear the uh the sharp seven in a lot of the chords I think uh, the biggest piece of feedback I have for this is probably just to um, find uh, tracks to reference for uh, production direction. You think the I think the writing's cool. Um, 
and I don't really have any any problems with that. Um, I just think like a lot of the production value could probably be upped by finding uh, um, like and doing like a lot of A B referencing, uh, like a um, yeah, that's just kind of like a general like remark I would I would have for that uh, for this track so far. Like uh, you know, I don't want to nitpick too much, and like definitely want to keep it to like big picture ideas, but um, you know, there there's stuff like a, this snare that makes me kind of um, uh, mention that because again, ultimately, like anything can be a creative decision, um, but uh, if you're um, looking for the impact of a snare in a mix, um, then like this one could definitely be uh, improved a little bit. Uh, so essentially, like from a listener's perspective, what you're hearing with that snare hit is uh, largely almost just like a bit of white noise. Like, pfft. Um, like there isn't much of a transient. There's much of uh, like a fundamental. Uh, and often you want something, you know, somewhere around like 100, between 100 and 200 hertz or something like that. But, you know, again, just, just depends on the style and the, the kind of stuff that you're going for. Um, but uh, yeah, I think like the drums could, could uh, like sound selection wise and mix wise could be improved for sure. And uh, um, I think. Yeah, and also, also I think potentially to improve the impact of this section, because it sounds like the writing is kind of implying that like, you know, there's a riser in the background, like things are kind of building up and the, for the tension release to like be pulled off properly, I think you're gonna really wanna um, find uh, tracks to, to to reference. Yeah, I honestly think you could find like a Quan soundtrack to reference for this, like Max Out or um, uh, Funk Blaster or something along those lines that could really help you uh, like identify like sonically how to um, have that impact uh, succeed a bit more. But uh, but yeah, I think it's it's fun. I think it's funky. I like the uh, the uh, the the riff that you had going in the intro. Um, so yeah, um, sweet. Let's do the next one. Um, let's see. Roll it. Asmo, what up? Um, got any goods for me, boy? Do you have any goods for me? Out to get Spotify stream, sir. <laughs> what do you mean? That's strange. The uh, link didn't send in uh, the track for soloing on. Where's Bash? I don't think he's around today. So this is a submission from Asmo Asmo Dean. dark. so dark.
is like extremely cinematic from what I can from what I can tell. Like I feel like uh this reminds me of I've actually never played Metal Gear Solid, but it reminds me of that kind of that kind of vibe. You know? Spy thriller movie, I agree. Um it's a cool idea, man. It's uh not really something I feel like I can critique it seems like if if, if that's what you're tr going for i think you certainly succeeded um i don't think this would actually be like a very good uh style of track for soloing i see you wrote here mostly for doing solos and stuff um i feel like adding like a solo over this would probably detract from the mood but again it depends on what you were trying to achieve when you were writing this like if you wanted something that uh it's kind of dark and mysterious and uh, um, kind of unsettling, then I think you definitely succeeded. Um, but yeah. We got 10 minutes left, guys. Let's, uh, let's get like two more in and then we'll probably call it quits. Um, yeah, thank you for that, Asmo. It's a cool track. Um, all right, let's roll it. I am really a pancake. Um, I don't know how a pancake made it into a Twitch stream, so maybe we should uh, skip that one. Wait, the pancake sent a link? Okay. Let's check it out. So this is from uh, I am really a pancake. SoundCloud account true AV. This pancake has maxed out on IQ. Very high IQ pancake. really cool. I like it. It's the most talented pancake I know. Very cool. Um, I think it's a really fun tune. Um, 
I'm trying to think of feedback. I think, uh... I think, uh, mix-wise, you may be able to benefit... You, the track might benefit from having some stuff come, uh, a little bit further forward. Uh... If you compare the, the the volume of like the kick and the and like some of the percussion, for example, to like that uh synth that's playing the chords, it sounds like they're a little bit further up front. Um, I think it could be nice for um like at, at least like some of the chord synths to be uh uh to be further fr up front in the mix. And depending, of course, on on what you uh. I don't know what you're looking to looking to achieve. I think um, in general, maybe like uh, reducing dynamics a little bit with a, with a limiter could be beneficial too. Not necessarily. I mean, it really depends on what you're going for. Just throwing out ideas. I really like the uh, <clears throat> I really like the vibe on it though. It's got uh, I think this synth hip hop, uh, like upbeat, like synthy hip hop is essentially like what I'm hearing. Anyways, yeah, congrats, man. Cool track. Um, all right, let's do one more, and then I'm probably gonna call it quits for the stream for today. So let's roll. Let's a roll, baby. Anchovies, paprika, paprika. Do you have a link you'd like to share? Yo, you guys came prepared this time. This is a submissions, uh, submission from Anchovies Paprika or Climatus on SoundCloud, I guess. Oh god. Glad I stopped that before I started playing. Um I like it. It's got a like very um I like lazy groove to it. Um I don't know exactly how the melody goes, that was me just kind of paraphrasing it. But it's cool. And then the time signature change at the end as well.
All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, for hanging out. Um, I do need to let you guys know I will not be able to make a stream on Monday. I'm doing a talk with my sister um, here in Milwaukee um, at MSOE about, uh, I don't know, just like music, the music industry, being a musician, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we're going to talk about all sorts of stuff, but that means I won't be around on Monday to stream. So I'm just going to um, stick to Wednesday and Friday. I might try to squeeze in an additional stream, but um, yo, I think actually to make it a goal uh, for the 24 hour stream, we're at 99 subscribers. So um, once we hit a hundred, I'll uh, commit to a date for uh, um, for the 24 hour stream. Um, so that'll happen uh, maybe sometime next week then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, for hanging out. I shall see you guys next week. And yeah, thank you guys for sharing some of your music. Um, really appreciate it. It's always fun to hear other people's ideas. So uh, yeah, I shall see you guys soon. And yeah, thanks again for uh, for tuning in. Appreciate it. Peace out, guys.